back. I'm gonna fight the right guy this time. Jeepers. <laughs> Really? A big swing does almost the same amount of damage as a small swing on him. Is that... You, uh, did you hold... Uh, this game has a charge, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. When am I ever going to have the opportunity to charge... Oh, Jesus. Well, go fight the dog. Alright. He's coming for me, right? Oh, he's so stupid. <laughs> you say as he gets to you. Yeah, well, now he's dead, so whatever. Now he looks a lot more like me. <laughs> Horrible Nevin. Horrible Nevin, the guy who died doing what he didn't really believe in that much. You can that just... Guy? Yeah, that's the dude with the axe. Is he going to see me? Is he going to be able to respond to the fact that I'm within the line of sight? Um, I'm not actually sure, to be honest. Well, this will be a learning process for us all. Oh, he definitely flew in. Ah, oh, jeez, he's going around. <laughs> we are off Idiot. to the races. Idiot. Right. Jesus! I hope that every single click of my controller comes through in this recording. I want his axe. I just want a better weapon. Got some more firebombs. All right. I refuse to fall to my death, and I will not. I got an achievement for killing the high priestess, at least, so, you know. Actually, small victories. I don't know why you got that achievement. Like, may... Uh... That was confusing. Well, we'll never, ever have to look back on it, ever, because I'm never going back in that room. Even when I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, eventually you'll be a big enough badass that you can take her. Well, I'm already a big badass. Right now, you have to get knifed by mooks. We all have to start at the bottom of the ladder. <laughs> start at the bottom, now we're here. Still at the bottom, but drunk. <laughs> I feel like we have to rep that because we're Canadian. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't give them too much detail. <laughs> Idiot. You die every time. There we go. All right. All right. So there are is still more for you to explore over there. God, I wish Just I could get that from him. Go try again. Do it. What do you think the odds are that he drops it with my luck being completely unchanged as it is? Well, I mean, if we follow the basic rules of karma, I think enough bad shit has happened to you now. The the law of large numbers, or the rule of large numbers, dictates that there is a chance that eventually this will work for me. I mean, that is how statistics work. Yeah. See, he's not rolling through the corpses. Well... Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, there, fucking Legend of Zelda. That was bogus. How many Zelda references can we make in one video? Most of them. <sighs> oh, boy. All right. You are out of heels. I know. Tracking overhead. I know! <laughs> I am also in the present. Oh, boy. That was pretty close. It was either him or me at that point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This time, I'm going to lay it out for you. Okay. I'm going to roll down there, grab my souls, kill him, mm -hmm. probably waste a couple of heals, uh, then go straight for the night, and I'm going to get Albert's uh, backup again. You actually can't. Oh, that you made me waste my one opportunity to have him help me with that fight? There's another guy you can summon. Where is the other one then? Down by uh, Vort's boss gate. All right, so right at the right at the mouth of the beast. Yes. At least there's that. Is he better than Albert though? Is he worse than Albert? I mean, it's basically that neither of them will do that much damage to the boss. You are bringing them as a meat shield to draw his attention. That's all I need. And they are both perfectly capable of doing that. There you go. Oh, he just forgot about me. Mm hmm Y'all motherfuckers act like you forgot about Nev. <laughs> you take a lot of unnecessary risks. That's what the what the people want from me, is uh, the worst Dark Souls gameplay they've seen on YouTube yet. 
you oh, get that God. on the DVD case. That's going to be the quote, and it's going to be from one of the people involved in the creation of the product, and they're going to be like, can we really trust this? And then after watching uh, four minutes, they'll be like, mm, seems fair. <laughs> the other quote is, uh, he has a great personality, mm -hmm. he's from our mom. He's not that, <laughs> he's okay, <laughs> Matt Damon. <laughs> All right. Just run through. I don't... Just run. How do I run? Hold down the roll button. Ah. Are they going to follow me? Probably. Turn around. This is a much better place to fight them. Yeah, it looks great. You're right. <laughs> it's not my fault you don't know how to use choke points. <laughs> you come to my house. <laughs> Thanks for the memories. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to get surrounded next time. Um, I killed them without getting hit three times last time. I killed them only getting hit two times. God, why did they put crossbow guy here? He's not the right guy for this job. Uh, because the first time you come through, you find sword guy first. Thanks for the firebomb. It's going to do me great. <laughs> Ah, cool, my own bloodstain. All right, John Voigt. No, wait, that's the boss. All right, um, this before is, he circles around, what's up? This is the other oh, John. Big the cat, big the cat. Yeah. It's just rewatching the Best Friends um, Sonic DX. They were just doing all the uh, serial killer jokes about Big the Kid. So that's timely for me, personally. I don't think I actually watched that one that they did. It's really good. It has probably my favorite my favorite joke in any of their LPs. Okay. It's one that... There's a lot of setup for it. Alright. But I recommend checking there it out. There you go, 69. Oh! Oh, baby! I deserve that. Yeah, yeah, you did. Okay. Let's so, uh, check, check that shit out. I can't use it yet. Press, um, X. Halberd wielded by the winged knights who swore themselves to the angels. The thick, hashtag thick, heavy, yeah. bloodstained blade can only be swung by one with inhuman strength. Uh, so... press, press X again. So what do I need? What do I need that I don't have? Uh, 16 dex, 26 strength. So I got my strength. Where, what the fuck? Where does it say strength? Where's my strength? Okay, attribute requirements. You have 20 strength right now. So, so you're actually I... not far off. I could level up to get to use that pretty quick. Uh, so you, I, if you actually pour points into decks at this point and get that up to 16, you can two-hand it right away. Okay, okay. And, sorry, uh, my dex is what? Your dex is 10. All right, so I only need six points on either? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, well, no, you need, si you need six points on dex. If mm -hmm. you want to one-hand it, you need six points on both. Oh, so if I just get my decks up, I can straight up just use it the way that I want to use it anyway? Yes. Oh, boy! And, and how many points do I get from a level up? Uh, one per level. Uh, like, I can funnel my points into each thing, though, right? Yes. Okay, so I gotta level up a bit. Yeah, no, you'll get there. Dicks. You'll get there. Yeah, but I wanted it to fight John Voight. Well, that depends on how much grinding you do. Yeah, we're not gonna do that on camera. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can uh, use Mr. Snip Snip. Mr. Wait, we're not stealing jokes. <laughs> All right, get over here, idiot. You have to have heard that. There we go. Oh, wow, there's a couple of knights around this place that I don't want to talk to. I've got one Estus and not my full health, so... You can yeah, do this. Things are going great. Ah, fuck. Okay, so uh, unless you are directly taking damage, don't hold your shield up. Well, just I get it anyway. Future reference, because it means that your stamina regenerates much more slowly. Ah, oh, balls! That I definitely would have been would not have been doing it if I knew that. Well, I'm I'm, I'm telling you now. Yeah, no, I, I get that. There's that wall of fog that's, you mentioned that I created. Wall. You got one on either side now. Well, you have got 
to stop being so greedy. I was not paying attention to my health bar, just his. That's my excuse. This is gonna be a good series. You should drink. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. Uh, this is gonna. We're gonna canonize this right away because I'm gonna have a lot of funny stories to tell, but I need to explain why I can't tell them in too much vivid detail. Oh, uh, okay. My, uh, my current employment, I had to sign a non disclosure agreement mm -hmm. just because I deal with um, sensitive information for mm -hmm. people. Stuff I'm not going to talk about right now. Right. But um, essentially, all that needs to be known is that I take calls. Drop on him. On behalf of a telecoms company, which means that I get a lot of people asking me some very standard questions. Mm -hmm. The sort of stuff like, why does my bill look the way it looks? Yes. So I, I answer that question. Because you're a hacker man. Exactly, I'm hacker man. I, I've hacked time, I've hacked space. Uh, the my the absolute best thing happened to me the other day while I was at work. A woman calls in, mom aged woman, mm -hmm. and she is just it's my core demographic, like okay, yeah. like the the white upper middle class suburban mom. Yeah, they love me. <laughs> um, but uh, the um, she calls in and she's just. She just doesn't exactly understand why her bill looks the way that it does. So I'm just explaining in, in very, you know. So this is how the, the payment uh, schedule works. And uh, she's like, oh. And as soon as I explain it to her, she's in a much better mood. We're, we're chatting. Nice. She gets really almost like borderline flirty. And it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, and then uh, she's like, I have one more that, question. That was good. Right? That was pretty clean. That was good. Um, she's like, I have one more question. And I'm like, oh yeah, go right ahead. Uh, shoot. I'm going to call her Nancy. Go ahead and shoot, Nancy. And uh, she says, so it looks like in uh, last month there were two charges of X amount of money on, on like my pay-per-view. And I just, I had a question about that. And I was like, oh, uh, don't worry. Let me take a look. And I have this function on my, uh, my UI that lets me look at the exact titles of things that are being rented. Oh, do tell. And uh, one of the ones towards the end of the month was something to the effect of like, lesbian squirting four. And then the other one was something like, lesbian bar camp night slap a nine. <laughs> and I was like, Nance, I gotta break it to you. These are, uh, there's two adult pay-per-view titles on your account. And she was like, my husband says it wasn't him. If it was the kids, I'm going to have to beat them. <laughs> oh my god, man. Jeez. So this all uh, ended with me sending her information on setting up a security pin on her pay-per-view. <laughs> it, was, it was a riot. I mean, I feel like it would be the husband because the kids probably know that you can get porn for free online. You know what? You'd be surprised how few people do know that. Yeah, I probably would be. Support, support local artists, people. Just gonna put that out there, too. Yeah. Ah, come on. Come on, Makoto Kusanage. <laughs> Jesus, that was brutal. Ugh. Might have to use Mr. Snip Snip a few times here. No, it's fine. We're keeping all of this. Okay. The knights on the stairs are gonna be my downfall. I'm gonna go and fight John Boyd and get him in fucking first try. I mean, second try, technically. It was that one time that you got me. That was that one. You, you, know, you, you, were, you were low on health. You were low on heals. And you did pretty good. I'll take the, the, the pity reassurance. Like, there were no, there were no like, super colossal fuck-ups on your part in that fight. Beyond... Which is funny, because super colossal fuck-ups is actually my maiden name. Can't confirm. We're, we're actually uh, we're adopted. Yeah. Alright, so he's toast. He's definitely toast. God, I was hoping to hold on to those souls, too. I mean, you could get more souls. I can, but I want to get more. enough souls to level up to the fact point where I can use that wicked cool halberd. That's the polearm made out of machetes duct taped together that I was mentioning. Yeah, no, you, yeah. you got exactly that. I got the thing. You got I the just thing. can't use it yet. Which is really just a spit in the face of me and, and God himself. For that last death. Make it so that I don't have to wait for this thing to come back for me. Oh wow, how much further down does that rabbit hole go? 
Uh, that that is a bottomless pit. That's unlikely. That has not been modeled. That that is death. Non Euclidean architecture. There Idiot. you go. Idiots, you're All learning. Of you. Clever girl. They save me as I revert to my human form after being a velociraptor. Human form? Eh, human with an asterisk. Human-ish. Diet human. Yeah, that's probably close. Human zero. Mm-hmm. Great human flavor, none of the human calories. <laughs> I hate sword guy. Spear guy's no problem. And you used to be so good at sword guy, too. Ah, uh, that happened one time. Come on, don't give me too That happened credit. a few times. Mm, yeah, I guess. You, you, were doing, you were doing good. Come on, He's pole not... arm. Come on, pole arm Jones. Really? Just fucking... Get closer. There, there you go. go. You should back shit, up. Shit, shit. Oh. Uh, uh, there we go. His pathing almost broke for me. Part of me was hoping that you would... You <laughs> fucking sick man. That's what you had me here for. Emotional support and laughing at you when horrible things happen. Whoa, happened. that was a good old-fashioned stabberoo. You are learning. There Good. Is. Jackass. Better drop an Estus. Nope. Fuck. Alright. So, we didn't actually do this last time because it, it was getting pretty late and we were tired, but you mm -hmm. do have an item in your inventory that you can use to improve your, uh, your flask. Like, permanently? Yes. Oh, what the fuck? Well, it means going back to the shrine. Alright, we're not doing that yet. Then. No. Uh, finish exploring this area at least. Yeah. Um, also, I feel like another caveat that we should add to the whole setup yep. is that I'm going to drink every time Nevin drinks, as well as when you tell me to. I think that's a bad idea. No, I'm doing it. I think it is going to be hilarious. Come on, Nev. Gonna drink for that. One. There you go. Fucking asshole. Ooh, and he dropped a thing. Tight net shard. That's good to have. That, so is, that is good to have. There's, there's a guy up there. Another one up there that you can go fight. And there's an item up there that you can pick up. Is it worth going to fight that guy? Pretty sure it's a weapon. Didn't answer the question, but I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, like, if it is what I think it is, then yeah, because you get a new weapon to look at. That's fair. You should just pick it up now. Lucerne. What's that? It's got a name. It's a pole arm. So, uh, historically, it, there is a weapon called the Lucerne from the, uh, the, like, the European place, Lucerne. Okay. That's what it's named for. And it's a, it's a spear plus hammer combination. Spear hammer. Okay. Yes. I've seen something like that in, like, pictures. Yeah. You know, you've seen books before. Go take a look at it. All right. Getting smashed with Nevin. It's a really, like, in-game in it is an effective weapon, and historically it's a very effective weapon. Good against armored opponents. Right. Um, so it's next to the halberd. There you go. Uh, okay. Yeah, that looks familiar. Uh, and actually you can use it a lot sooner than the halberd. Yeah, it's, I only need to get 13 instead of 16, right? So, yep, so uh, open good. up the info. A polearm with a sharp, hard-pronged head that inflicts thrust damage. The lucerne is wielded overhand like a hammer or can be swung from the side to break through shields. That's gonna be handy. Yep. I like that. No, it's a, it's a super good weapon. Anything else I should worry about up here? Nope. Uh, the only, like, interesting thing is it is a weapon named after a real-world place. Okay. That has the same name in As... this world. Interesting. Which, you Why can... Why that rock got chains on it? Uh, because that rock is a... It's a glow rock, right? No, it's a person. Oh. That's, it's wearing a thing on its back. Uh, You'll uh -oh. see a lot more of them. Should I fight that guy? Yes. You, you should. Because you need to see this. He looks mean. There's a reason he looks mean. Look at me getting better at the fight. Yeah. You should hit him. What's he doing? Buffing his sword. Fucking prick. Aw, <sighs> oh, come on. Yep. 
You did good there. Like, you are doing better. Yeah, well, <laughs> if I had been, I gotta start paying attention to my meters. Start thinking about this the way I think about Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fighting game. Fucking, it's For Honor, pre For Honor. Literally uh, that. Yeah. I haven't even played that game, I just know the reference. So, the, the cool thing about For Honor is it's actually, the, the guy who developed the game uh, is actually a huge HEMA fan, which for... Is a what fan? Uh, HEMA, Historical European Martial Arts, the thing that I do. Okay. Uh, which is why that... At you least, heard it here first, Tony does that. I do, I, that I do called. that. Um, so, like, that's why at least some of the, like, stances and, and attacks that you see are historically accurate. And uh, oh, things that people he's, would he's do. He's modeling them after things that he's done. Yeah, that's handy. And, and, and it's like when when they were animating the Lion King, and they had lions in the animation studio, yeah. and all the animators were like, "Are you sure about this?" And Walt Disney was like, "Yeah." That's yeah. a good Walt Disney impression. I thought so. He sounds exactly the way that I pictured him to sound. Shit. Like an old tiny bad guy. Like Snidely Whiplash. Yeah. Hey. Whoa! Hot fucking dog. Take a look at that shit. Please say I can use. I can't. You you oh actually you can. Oh. You can two-hand it. Okay, uh, it's equipped. Let's do the info. Okay, hold on. Equipment. That, that's oh, equipped. Oh, I equipped. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Great axe resembling a hunk of raw iron. If, if one we... possesses the inhuman strength required to lift the weapon, the great heft of its attacks will send foes flying. However, since every swing makes use of one's entire body, attacks leave the wielder wide open to retire. Okay, so that's not great. All right. Risk but... versus reward. So I got my axe. Oh, wait. What? I figured you would be able to use it. But... Wow. So you, you actually can't use it effectively yet. God damn it. You gotta level up. You got my you. hopes up. Yeah, I thought you would. I want the deep one, right? Yes. Alright. Uh, until you upgrade your regular one, the deep one's gonna be better. Well... I like that you're watching now. Yeah, well, I haven't fallen yet, and I I'm know, not gonna start falling. No, you don't want to be caught with your pants down. Exactly. Falls out in the video. Thank you, Nevin, for providing me with a reason to make this whole session a lot less stressful. By drinking? You heard me. So there's no real reason to continue to fight uh, Blue Dude? Big the Cat, right? Oh, no, you, you've gotten... I, I, I've got... I've you got the, the thing that you wanted yeah, from okay. him. And I could get some souls, but that's really, like, neither here nor there. Not really worth it right now. Right. Uh, you can kill those knights again to go get your souls back from the blue dude. I'm going to, and I'm going to kill him this time. I'm going to pay attention to my fucking health bar. The other thing is that because he is facing away from you... you and, uh, I could sneak up on you him. You can right? sneak up on him, and you can backstab him. That's what I want to do. That would... It would behoove you. Benefit me greatly. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Hoop. Come on, dude. That shit ain't fair. That's the benefit of a great shield. Also, you are out of stamina. Good. Good. Idiot. That's Idiot. exactly what you want. Oh my do. god. Now, you know that charge R2? Yeah. That right there is where you want to use it when they're standing back up. Lothric Knight, I got new gloves. You are slowly taking all of his stuff. He's going to have zero pants when I'm done with him. He already has zero pants. You took Oh, did I already have? You're already I wearing them. Picked him up. Yep. Shit. All right, well, he's going to be naked next time. And feeling quite foolish. You got two more pieces to this set that you can get. All right, I'm going to sneak up on this guy. Probably not. Yeah, I am. Get close, Nevin. Fuck me! Ow. You should heal. I'm just gonna kill him real quick and take care of that. Good. Alright, Nev. I see. I see how it is. Should I go and try and get souls off of that guy up there? Nah, not worth it. Alright. Go kill Big Blue. 
All right, and he's just not going to be paying any attention until no. I get close, right? He'll be faced into the corner, and as long as you walk... Like, stroll, Yes. Right? Like a pan swagger. Oh my god, look at the distinguished look. gait of Nevin the Knight. Not a knight yet. I'm a knight. Not quite the best thing you could hope for. You should get away. There we go, I'm fucked right. You should heal again. Roll back. Yeah. Fuck. Run! Just roll away. Get back into the bridge. Wait, I drank my Estus, but my health didn't go up. That's because you were out of Estus. Why? So, you you want to fight him here. Because yeah, when that happens... I can get my souls back easy. There you go. <laughs> Old Nevin's learning. All so right. this is actually a trick that a lot of people did in Dark Souls 1, because in like the first area of the game that you're supposed to go to, there is a black knight who is a huge demon-fighting badass. Did he have a shovel, like in my favorite game, Shovel Knight? No. Oh, God. <laughs> but he had a big-ass sword. And um, what a lot of people would do is they would lure him back to the bonfire right after they had uh, finished clearing out the zone, mm -hmm. because then if they died, they wouldn't have to do a complicated run to get their souls back. That makes sense. But they would have to do the complicated run to... Oh, God! Who put that dog there? Who put that sequence-broken dog there that can't quite figure out how to attack me? <laughs> it's uh, all kinds of broken now. Yeah. yeah. So uh, at this point, you may as well go pick up those souls and then go fight Vort. I, sh I shouldn't go for Big Blue anymore? Not really worth it. Uh, he drops upgrade material. That's handy to have, though. Uh, you can already upgrade your axe by one. Where the fuck is Bony Bones Jones? At this point, you're better served killing a boss and getting... Oh, he's right underneath you. He's just mad about it. You should uh, roll off onto the stairs and just go fight him. I'm amazed you didn't take fall damage there. I haven't been taking fall damage from that fall yet. But I have been taking fall damage from getting hit in the face with an axe. We call that regular damage here. We call that axe damage. God damn it. I'm just gonna fucking heal. Don't go- no, no, don't. It's okay. Mm. Mm. Go, go get your souls back. Alright, so I- you, Because, like, if you can go- <laughs> There it went. There it went. No more souls. All right, everybody's dying this time. <laughs> Every single person is going to pay for that. And welcome back. We're going to be doing it the right time. <sighs> oh, that was good. It's still me, your old pal Scott, the worst person at Dark Souls yet. And Tony, the guy who knows more about it than most of us. What have I done with my life? Uh, wasted at least... Uh, four hours with me. That's accurate. Alright, so we should just head on to the boss at this point. No. Everybody is fucking dying. I'm... Who the fuck let that dog down here? You did. You no, didn't, it didn't, came of its own accord. You, you didn't close the gate. What's the dog gate? Yeah. To keep the dog you. in. Didn't you see the sign? Apparently I didn't. So... I know. <laughs> this is how this game teaches you. I had already learned this lesson. <laughs> That's the frustrating part. Alright. Tell you what. If you want to go kill all of those mooks cool, do Vort first. I'm going to kill all of the ones that I need to, to clear my path. Fair. Bare minimum. Uh, there. Oh, fuck you. There you go. Don't... No, I'm doing it. No, I was gonna say, like, if you don't take another hit, then you can pop an ember to summon hell, and that will bring your life back up to full and save but your I, I can't pop an ember to summon Albert, because... No, but there's that other dude I told you about. Yeah, but I'm gonna take damage fucking down the stairs. There's not... You, you won't necessarily. They're mooks. 
You saw the last 19 times I died. <laughs> yeah, but if you go... Okay, so I'm going to show you the fastest way down. I'm not taking the fast way. I'm taking the I vengeance let, let way. Let me show you. I'm taking the vengeance All way right, down. All right, Charles Bronson. Exactly. I'm Kevin Bacon in the movie Death Sentence. Because I'm always Kevin Bacon. If I can be. You see that window right there? This one here? You can fall down there. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Just, just for this, just this once. Just to show the nice people. But... Just trust me. Okay. And you see that huddled body right there? It's a bad guy. That's the dude who crossbowed you that last time. Wait. The first time you went to fight Ford. Oh, what, do you cross- remember this? I'm not. <laughs> the, the dude crossbowed you yeah, in the back. Okay. That's him. Good. And now you are past the knights. Yeah, but they don't feel my vengeance yet. Yeah, but Vort will. And also, you got Nestus back. See? So, go kill these guys, and then go summon that dude, and try Vort. And if you beat Vort, come back and kill the knights. There he goes. <laughs> Stupid idiot. So, one more dude. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I, I gotta see his, what his walking, like his pathing is. Up and down the stairs. Yeah, but does he go to the top of the stairs? Because I didn't see him just now. I just need to get a, get a feel and then sneak attack him like I did the other one. Can you tell that I used to play Rogue in Skyrim? Can you tell that... He ah, plays, there he is. Can you tell that he plays Rogue in real life? He doesn't know me. <laughs> he can't see me. Is he coming for me right now? I can't quite tell. Yeah. Is he just taking his fucking time? Yeah. He has his shield up. Why would he risk it? Now he's in the wide open. But he's got the high ground. That makes me Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Only if you try to get behind him. Alright, here we go now. I've got the high ground. Idiot. So your uh, charge R2 breaks his guard as well. Uh, yeah. So does your kick that I showed you last time. Yeah, I've done the kick a couple times by accident. It's uh, not my favorite. Because I keep trying to do regular old attacks, and it keeps not working because the kick somehow... You have got to start watching your stamina more closely. Nope. Alright, cool. He's dead. I did it. Go check out the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, but anything over here? No. Architecture? No, just architecture. Just just knights. Just bodies. Oh, that I've right. before. Why so, this guy's got rocks stuck on him? Uh, it's, it's such like a shell kind of thing. Oh, right, it's the turtle people. The turtle I people. That. I remember that. So, uh, you should, you should, um, pop, pop an ember. Uh, I'm gonna pop some embers on the guy. Okay, I'm gonna bother with that. Where is it? You ember. One up, up, there. Ember. Do the thing. Use more health for old me on fire. So. And a summon. Not that one. What? No, like there, there are two summon signs right there. Okay. Oh, oh, I thought one it was of them is a per- that's that's a person. That's a person. That's the one you want. That's the why. <laughs> He's got so much less clothes. <laughs> All right, sword master. Oh, that's the one that killed me the most <laughs> of anybody so far. <laughs> that's a fucking <laughs> gee goddamn Williker. All right, sword master. How are we doing? He's got a cool sword. Yeah, you have his sword. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> fucking remember. As soon as I said that, I was like, Whoa. All right, so he and I are headed in here? Yep. And he will follow me? Yes, he will follow you. Albert? Albert would have followed you what? into this fight. No, but he didn't follow me to the fight that needed fighting. It's the, yeah, I bent your rubber arm to murder someone. <laughs> Let's get fucked. Oh. I have to do a scene transit? Okay. No, you just walk through the fog. Yeah, I know. But He'll like... come with you. All right, Nev. Sad you look I sad Nev. because I made you look sad. <laughs> Let's do this. He looks sad because you keep killing him. Come on. He's coming. You keep your eyes on the ball. The gigantic toad man. See, I remember I did, I did okay with this last time, but I don't remember exactly what I was doing. Mostly panicking. Yeah, because he... Top his titties. So, that attack you have coming off of a roll Mm -hmm. is garbage. Don't do it. Okay. Wait until you're back on your feet and do a use a neutral attack. There was absolutely no uh, sign that he was going to be doing some stupid bullshit like that. No, I didn't do very much damage. Also, watch your stamina. Never. Come on, 
dude. Wait until that you. Just there, you, yeah, yeah. Just hit him in the butt. Right up in that booty. You should heal. All right, I've got a drink for that. Oh, this guy's going down hard. That's fine. Look out! How am I frostbitten? He didn't touch me. He uh, throws off frostbite. Whatever, he's dead. Alright, frostbite doesn't actually do that much to you. Air of fire destroyed. Should. Are we gonna light that bonfire? Vort of the Boreal Valley. John Vort. Yeah, light the bonfire. Cha Chang! Congratulations. Alright, now we gotta fucking. No. Alright. <laughs> you, be you beat the first real boss. That was only second try as well. So. Yeah, no, that was good. I'm gonna Aren't you glad that we did all that warming up first?